everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video which is episode two of makeup and mental health today we are going to be just doing a normal everyday makeup because quite frankly i'm not going anywhere and i don't have much time to film a proper makeup tutorial so we're just going to be doing my everyday makeup but more importantly we're going to be talking about body positivity and all things confidence, all things like stretch marks, rolls, all of that jazz and how to feel comfortable with it. I just thought I would show you quickly the puppies. Shall we zoom in? Shall we do a little zoom in? Look at that baby. Look at them both. <laughs> so I'm currently at my sister's house, hence the unusual background. So I'm really sorry it's not the best background. The lighting, I'm very backlit. I have tried to sort it out, but I can't. Um, my sister is in labour right now so I am doing my first auntie duties and I'm looking after the puppies whilst she is at the hospital but yes it's very exciting but I thought I would sit down with you because I still want to get a video out to you guys and I've been wanting to talk about body positivity for so so long I'm sorry that my hair is wet I'm sorry that I'm in literally like a comfy hoodie but this is just the vibe today and I'm kind of embracing it which is kind of on topic for this video. First product I'm going to use as always is my Pink Honey Bear Brows because it is the best and I always like a soap brow these days. Gone of the days where it was like full thick brow in 2016, um, it's now soap brows. My first point on body positivity kind of isn't really relevant at the moment because it's not summer anymore but I think it's still a point that I would like to mention in this video and it is that if you have a body, you have a summer body. Like think about it, deep it. This whole concept of, oh, I need to get summer body ready. Like obviously in winter, people like to get summer body ready. If I put my mirror there, is that gonna work? Probably, can you still see me? Yeah. And it's just like, it makes sense. I saw a TikTok, like this is not my own thoughts. I saw a TikTok say like, if you have a summer body, no, if you have a body, you have a summer body already. Like there's nothing that you need to do to change it to get to this ideal of a summer body. You literally have a body. This is really difficult to do my makeup. <laughs> oh God, I want my, my home set up with all my makeup. Yeah, I just feel like there's no reason to have this idea of a summer body. It's just been like brought into everybody's lives and society over time just because this concept exists of having a summer body but like if you have a body you have a summer body i'm now just going in with my maybelline fit me foundation this is in the shade 095 and i'm just gonna apply this with my brush but my next point is something that i'm really really passionate about and i think it's because it makes the most sense to me if you think about it what is wrong with rolls what is wrong with cellulite what is wrong with stretch marks anything if you actually think about the literal thing that it is like say for example a roll tell me tell me what is wrong with it you might be thinking like okay it's wrong because it looks ugly or it looks fat or it looks like some sort of thing that you're not wanting but that isn't like is valid if you want your body to look differently but there's actually nothing wrong with how it looks and i just want you to try and understand my point here because obviously i'm trying to explain it and i don't know if it's going to come across well but like there is actually nothing wrong with the physical appearance of a roll of cellulite of anything of stretch marks there's nothing wrong with it all that has made us think that is society, is beauty, like trends, is magazines shop, uh, shopping, photoshopping, like pictures and blowing out stretch marks and choosing like a certain body type to be a model. Like it's, it's just been conditioned into our brains over time that that is what the ideal, that is what the like perfect body looks like. But when I actually sat down with myself, because this is a journey for me too, like I'm not completely there with my body confidence and like body positivity and all of that, but I have come a long way. And I was literally thinking to myself a couple of weeks ago, like, I don't like my roles. And then I was like, okay, 
but what is it about them that I don't like? What is actually wrong with it? And it's literally just another feature on your body. Like, I don't know how to explain this and I really don't know if I'm explaining my point properly, but like, there's literally, factually, like nothing wrong with it. It's just our perception of it that has been changed to think that that sort of body type isn't what you want or isn't the perfect body type. There's nothing wrong with it. Like if somebody doesn't like how it looks, okay, that's valid, that's their views, that's their type, that's their like ideal of what they want their body to look like and their insecurities. But actually feeling it yourself, there's nothing wrong with it. Like there really isn't. Obviously there's the whole point of like being healthy and everything. Um, but I'm talking specifically as aesthetically, like there's nothing aesthetically wrong with rolls, with cellulite, with stretch marks. It is so, so normal. Like you have skin, you have a body, like it's going to change. It's going to go through periods where it looks different and it doesn't look how you looked like say before puberty or before like, did you know there was a second stage of puberty? <laughs> because I saw this on TikTok the other week. I was like, what the actual hell? Like, why? How is this a thing? And I never knew anything about it. Um, but yeah, my point is, and I hope I explained that well, but my point is that, literally speaking, if you look at a body and you don't like a roll on it, ask yourself why. Why don't you like what that looks like? And then try and say to yourself, there's literally nothing wrong. Okay, it looks a certain way. Okay, it doesn't look like all these models and all of these like Photoshop magazines. But is it wrong that it doesn't? I don't think so. I'm now going in with my pink honey BFF face frosting in the shade Toffee Truffle. So yeah, sorry, I feel like I went on a bit of a rant and I didn't really explain my point properly. So I hope that when I edit this, I do kind of make a little bit of sense. Um, but that leads me on to another thing that we kind of mentioned briefly then, which is stretch marks and cellulite. Most people, and specifically I feel like most women, have cellulite and have stretch marks. Your body changes, spe specifically <laughs> as you get older and you become more of like a womanly figure and you mature. That's just how it is, okay? Now, Obviously, some people don't, some people don't get stretch marks and that's fine, great. Like, that doesn't mean that they're any more attractive. It doesn't mean that their body is any more like right or the right way to be. It's literally your body's way of changing. And the this is the hardest point for me. Like my most thing, like my biggest thing that I'm insecure about is my stretch marks. But then again, I look at them and I'm like, okay, why am I insecure about that? Like, it's just a line on my body. It doesn't make me a bad person. Like, I want you to kind of realize that you are so much more than your body. Like, you are not what you look like. You are who you are inside. And like, I know that sounds so cringy, but you really aren't just your body. Like, there are so many more important things about you than what you look like and what your body looks like. And I'll say that again, there are so many more important things about you than your body. I'm just going in with my cream blush from P. Louise. This is the Cheek of It P. Louise blush in Legally Lavender. I love this stuff so, so much. And I am a lavender, lavender blush queen and I never thought I would be. I'm just gonna dot this on to my cheeks and then blend this out. I just think it's really important to realize if you are struggling with your body image and what you look like. It's important to realize that like when you die, you're not gonna be remembered for the body that you have. And I know that some people, I'm just going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I know that some people want to change their body or in their eyes make their body better in some way. And that's great, like I'm not saying that you shouldn't do that. I'm just here to offer you the other end of the spectrum of it's okay if you don't and it's okay that your body looks certain ways or different to somebody else. Like, your body is your body. It keeps you alive. Like, it's so insignificant. 
with what you look like like who you are as a person and your whole life is not dictated by what you look like yes it's gonna like help you improve your confidence or if you want to look a certain way and like you achieve it you might feel really like good about yourself or whatever but i'm here to say that the body that you had before or any other different like body type you don't need to feel then bad about that sort of body or i don't know i don't know i feel like i'm going on a run and i feel like i'm not explaining myself well at all i do think my mind is a little bit frazzled and is very preoccupied with the fact that my sister is in labor right now so i really hope i'm explaining my points properly because i do really want to try and help somebody and if i was a young girl right now like I would want to see something like this so i'm hoping that it helps somebody um i'm now going to go in with my huda beauty god i look pale <laughs> we need to bronze i'm going in with my huda beauty loose powder in the shade pancake and i'm taking this on my trigwell cosmetics powder puff but yeah i kind of got sidetracked then i was saying that my biggest insecurity at the minute is my stretch marks um and i think it's genuinely because like i didn't really I don't know I never really like knew much about stretch marks I knew that like I'd always had a couple like on my legs and stuff um and I feel like I just always had had them but they were never like big or they were never like red um and recently I have had some that are like bigger and more like coloured if that makes sense um and it's literally fine like I know that it's fine I think it's just me getting used to the fact that they're there and used to the fact that okay this has happened to my body now it doesn't make me any less ugly any less ugly any more ugly it doesn't change anything about me it's just a different thing on my body that I have to get used to now and honestly like I know some people not everybody gets stretch marks some people are more prone to it than others um, and I think that's something that does make probably like stretch marks worse is the fact that not everybody does get it and more recently with my sister like being pregnant and stuff she has like been applying creams to not get stretch marks and stuff but we've had a conversation and we were like if she does get stretch marks from pregnancy that is a privilege you have grew a baby like you have made a life and after that you're not gonna give a shit about some stretch marks on your belly like do you know what i mean i'm just going in with my nyx bronzer this is in the shade medium and let's bronze this face back up but yeah obviously me saying this is easier said than done and this whole year i've been working on like my body positivity and everything like that and trying to be more confident in my body and um, so it does take time but i'm hoping that just by like maybe perhaps giving you a different perspective on it like i'm not even expecting you to adopt this perspective or then feel super confident after watching this video i'm just offering a different perspective and trying to at least remind somebody that life is so much more than what you look like i'm now just going in with my doll beauty blush in the shade take me to the peach i love this still love it probably always will but yeah i think my main point is that with things like rolls, stretch marks, cellulite, any sort of like body hair, anything, anything that you're insecure about. I want you to ask yourself, who decided that that is unattractive or that is not meant to be there or that that is not good to have on your body? Ask yourself that, honestly deep it. If you don't like it, fair enough, but ask yourself why? like try and dig deeper and realize is there actually a reason like do you genuinely think i would like myself better without that or i'd like myself differently that's okay it is okay i'm not saying you shouldn't feel like that but if it is because of society or because of somebody else might think it looks bad or you feel like you're less attractive to a partner if you have that like i don't i personally don't think that's a valid enough reason to be feeling insecure about that thing and i don't know if i'm wrong for saying that but i just genuinely feel like a lot of it is due to these incredibly high beauty standards that we have now and i know that there is a lot more like body positivity on tiktok and there is a lot more online these days 
which I'm so grateful for. But when, when I was uh, like a teenage girl, there was none of that. And I feel like it's definitely been drilled into our heads through generations, through social media, that there is a certain way to look. And I'm just reminding you that actually, no, there isn't. I'm now gonna do my eyeliner and I will come back to you because I can't talk when I'm doing my eyeliner, but it is the NYX Epic Wear Liner in the black shade. And I'm just gonna do a little quick wing on the outer corners. Okay, I am back and I just added a quick coat of mascara and some Carmex on my lips because I also couldn't talk whilst I'm doing those two things. But that is the end of this video. I just wanna say, I'm so sorry if I haven't portrayed these points as well as I want to. Obviously, I'm a bit all over the place at the minute. But I really wanted to just talk about this topic because I feel like it's so important and I feel like because I've grown a lot with it this year, if I can just say one thing that just switches something in somebody's head or makes you just question it for a little bit or offer you a different perspective, I really, really hope that it has done that. And if it has, please let me know. Please leave any more like advice or anything that you've done that's helped your body positivity journey or anything in the comments below. I feel like this is really good to talk about. And if there's anything that you have taken from this video or if you haven't taken anything a final thing is if you've got rolls if you've got stretch marks if you've got cellulite bestie it's okay i've got them too if that makes you feel any better <laughs> i have them too and most people do and it's okay there is literally nothing wrong with any of it but thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe say goodbye to the little babies and i'll see you very soon with another video that was not my outro. I just copied somebody else's YouTube video. <laughs> Who says that? What do I say? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.